twin flame act of what? <laughs> you know, an activation, that thing that happens when you meet someone and you believe that they are your twin flame and now you can sense there was something that took place, which is an activation. But what does that mean? Stay tuned because I'm going to break that down for you. You know, I'm always getting asked, what is a twin flame activation and what is happening to me? So, you know, you're feeling connected and pulled like a magnet to this person. You might even feel your body buzzing all over. And somebody came into your life, makes you feel like you just kind of hit a kabang, a big, the big bang theory. And you're left wondering, like, who are they and what did they just do to me? So the key to know in this activation is it had nothing really to do with them. It had everything to do with you, and that is on the inside of you. That they electrically charged you like jump-starting a battery to help you become a better version of yourself. They're helping you wake up spiritually so that you can change yourself on the inside that's going to now better you and create a better version of yourself into your life. The thing I find, though, is most people blame the other person because they feel like that their whole life got turned upside down and this person came through and they can identify it being with that person and thinking that everything's wrong with that person and why is this person doing this to me and blame, blame, blame. And so the key to know, as I said, they are only like activating the wounds inside of you so you can get your life together and heal what's blocking you from connecting to more of the authentic version of you or learning to love yourself. And when you blame them, you're giving your power away. And so it's time for you to take responsibility for your vibration. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Harmony and I'm a transformational teacher, quantum healer, and I help other twin flames and other light workers and soulpreneurs as well as heartpreneurs to really go within themselves to heal the wounds that have caused them to be separate from their emotions so they can find an inner union and then create the connection in their life and draw to them what they desire. And here on this channel, I help you find and heal those wounds so that you can begin to trust your path and then live your purpose. Every Thursday I post new videos, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when all my videos and content come live. So I'm going to share with you three things that you can really focus on to gain better understanding of what a twin flame activation is and how it occurs within you. And the first point is to know that that twin flame journey is inside of yourself, that it is an inside job. And what that really means is that you are healing the parts of you that have been not acknowledged or that have been hurt in past relationships potentially even karmic contracts with soul partners, past lives, and the parts of your soul that have been fragmented. And so the whole goal in this journey is for you to be able to come to a wholeness, a completeness, a oneness, become unified within your own inner masculine, your own inner feminine energy, so that inside of you, your masculine and your feminine create a union that will then translate into the reunion outside of you that you desire and that most people think this journey is about but can't have until you do it inside first. And I started this year off telling you guys, and a lot of you, I want to thank all of you said you're in this with me for this year, that I'm doing the whole year themed on, you know, union and being inside job. And so I've done a lot of videos on this. I've created a whole playlist called Achieve an Inner Union. I'll make sure to put a link above or below so that they, those videos can really help you dive deep into understanding how to connect to your energy, how to bring your masculine and your feminine energy into balance, and how to identify with your wounds so that you can basically wake up to the higher version of you and then you learning how to collect the aspects that makes you begin to love yourself in ways that you want other people to do for you. And another good resource I have for you to connect with me and my tribe over in my Ascension Academy is my mentorship program that offers coaching live with me 
as well as courses and community in order to come together and teach you what it takes to create an inner balance so that you can step into your purpose, get on your path, and move towards your highest version of you. So the second thing that you need to do in this process, if you want to really come in and connect to that inside job, is to stop giving your power away. So every time you blame your twin flame, you're giving away the power that is inside of you. You're saying that I am the victim. You're saying that I can't have love unless I have you. I can't have the experience unless it's with you. And that is putting you into more separation because you've got to do it inside before you have it outside. And what I find with a lot of people, when they get that on the inside and they reclaim their aspects, they reclaim their power, then they begin to become more of a magnet that is the activation is taking place to create and make you a magnet that's going to pull towards you everything that is meant for you because you're raising your energetic vibration. And as you raise your energetic vibration and you cleanse and clear your chakras, which I have in that playlist for the Achieve and Inner Union, all of those videos are in there too on how to literally clear your chakras, how to understand how your chakra system connects to your twin flame. But in realistically, you can go out in your life and show up every day be treating yourself and allowing other people to treat you the way you want to be treated, which is going to put you in a position to receive what you want. And if you have one desire, but you're accepting less than that, you're giving mixed signals to the universe. So now the universe is not going to give you what you want because you're allowing something different than that and you're creating a split in what you desire. So it's, it's separating you from what it is you want. And I did create a resistance robs you of your power video. I'm going to put a link above or below because in that video I talk about it's the resistance we have inside of us that's creating the energy that's pushing away what you want. And a lot of times, you, you know, people are fearful letting go of this person, which is giving your power away. And if you surrender them and stop resisting whatever it is you're going through, whether it be feel the emotions or whether it be let go of them or whether it be face a fear or whether it be show up in ways that you're vulnerable. When you release your resistance to any of that, then you then actually get what you want. But until you do so, it's robbing you of your power. And the third thing and reason part of this activation is taking place is for you to own your own value out of this, for you to look at these difficult challenges and experiences in this wake up from a higher version of you so that you can begin to, as I mentioned, you know, sort of demand others to acknowledge you and you have to show them how to treat you so that they treat you the way you want to be treated. And so the whole point of the activation is to awaken you consciously to a higher connection to you, to have more desire for more nourishment, more spirit fed and led within, for you to strengthen yourself, to strengthen your relationships, to build mutual respect and true communication. And that means you're surrounding yourself then with the people that's going to show up for you, to stand up for you, to speak up for you because you're doing it yourself and giving yourself permission to not lower your standards and set boundaries without the fear of what people are going to think or even giving a care of what the twin flame or whoever, how it's going to affect them because that is their job. You're also their teacher and you're also triggering them so that however you show up affects them, you stay in your lane and you're not doing it, if you're doing it from the heart and you're not doing it from the mind or you're not doing it from ego or you're not doing it intentional, then you're also their teacher. That's your way you show up is teaching them that they should do the same thing and that only then can they show up for you the way you want them to. So when it comes to the spiritual journey and awakening to the higher consciousness and connecting to your truth and your higher self, which is what the activation is doing from the inside, it can take a toll on you physically. And that means you need to, you know, practice more self-care and more self-nurturing and more self-love and most importantly, more patience. And I did do a self-love makeover series that I'll put a link above or below because this can help you learn how to show up for yourself more during this time of learning the tools, tips, and resources to set these loving boundaries 
and create some healthy maintenance for yourself because even the activation itself is such a toll in the body because the cells in the body, the energy in the body, everything's waking up and you can feel it and that's raising up your consciousness. So it, 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 again, it takes a toll on you. So take care of yourself, be gentle on yourself and stop looking at the person as what they did to you and look at like, okay, I signed up for this. This is in me. What can I do about this now? And like, don't necessarily block the other person in a sense that you, you know, cut them out of your life, but don't be attached to them or the outcome and put yourself in a position to be open to receiving the lessons and look at what they're doing at being, where does this exist in me? What are they teaching me? What are the lessons? And that's going to pull back in that power that you're missing. So if you enjoyed this video and like for me to make more videos like this, please comment below and make sure you give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you really liked it, you really enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when all my content comes live. And if you'd like to learn more about getting activated and achieving inner union, please follow me over at Facebook or Instagram at Twin Flame Expert. And if you want to learn more about me, myself, the programs, and how I can assist you more along the way with your own inner union, make sure to visit my website at TwinFlameExpert.com. And I'll see you in the next video.